Uh, I like to talk about the war because I spent most of my life studying about it. And I welcome these opportunities. Uh, I'm David Glantz, Colonel David Glantz, retired. We know about the conflict and the special operation in the Ukraine. It's been going on now for more than a year and will likely could likely go on much longer. But uh, just to show you how history and contemporary events are interrelated, there is a name that has surfaced over and over again in the last three months in the uh, special operation, and that's the name Bakhmut. Bakhmut, the judgment of the intelligence community is, whoa, that's a bad thing to pick. Why are they hitting that thing? It's costing a lot of casualties on both sides. Then my daughter came up one day, and I said to her, what's Bakhmut? Could you please? I have all my maps are, pre, are pre-1990 maps, and they have the Russian names on it. And she said, oh, Bakhmut is Artemovsk. And I said, holy, I won't put the four-letter word I used. I said, of course they're slamming Bakhmut. If you look at Bakhmut, alias uh, Artemovsk, 70 years ago, that was the anchor point of the German defense in the Donbass region. And it was surrounded by fortified villages and, and uh, Slavyansk and Kramatorsk and other cities, which together formed the base for Monstein to defend the Donbass region. And here we are now in 2023, and we have Putin talking about the Nazis in the Ukraine trying to conquer the Soviet Union. And guess what? His special operation has reached Bakhmut, Artemovsk. The Soviets never took Artemovsk in 1943. Uh, the question for next year is, will the Russians be able to take Bakhmut, modern Artemovsk, in 2023 or 24? New footage gives a rare look at the raging battle in Bakhmut. It's been the most prolonged battle of the war and costly for both sides, with tens of thousands of estimated casualties. Yeah, well, Errol, you know, we have to paint the picture of what Bakhmut is. It is savage, what's going on there. Both sides are beating each other up. It has been a war of attrition. It's gone on for 10 months. I follow what's going on there, but I do it with... Uh... I look at the ISW, which is the best source now, the Daily Report. I got a stack of these things. Look at that. It would eat up, eat up all of my health funds and paper if I if I tried to keep printing all those things out. And it's irrelevant because I don't know what's going to happen there, and nobody does. What about this? What about that? Is Bakhmut important? Is Donbass good tank country? Yes, is the general judgment. That's bullshit. It, it isn't good tank country. It's awful. And all you need to do is read the commander reports of the commanders who led their tank and mech corps across the, that area in 1943. I remember one by uh, General Rumiantsev, commander of First Guards Mech Corps, who went across. This is in a successful operation that cleared the, cleared the Donbass finally in uh, September 44. And he says, why did they order me through this god-awful mess of country? It's nothing but swamps and trees south of the northern Donetsk River, and the rest of the area is nothing but Volkas and Ovrogs. If you know Russian, that, that means ravines and gullies. Now, can you imagine operating with tanks across a tabletop flat area where every single Ovrog and Volka is a tank obstacle, a tank, the anti tank position? And every time. You go out on the open country in between to get blown away by the by the people in those positions. That's what it is. The, the, the attrition rate in armor is horrible with the Donbass. It always has been and it always will be. And to say it's good tank country is insane. Because it's where, where the rivers run, the direction they run, how many are dry. It's all kinds of questions that need to be assessed. In any case, uh, I keep track of all this stuff, but my standard answer is now, I don't know what's going to happen in the Donbass. God knows that. And I'm not going to try to answer, because I can't answer a lot of questions. Will I be around next year? That'd be a nice one to answer. <laughs> well, it's beyond my pay grade.